Uh, welcome to Pandex Solutions. In this video, we are going to uh, cover the basic image processing using MATLAB. Okay. So, how to read images and what are the operations, mathematical operations which we could perform on these images and what are the syntax are available on the image processing toolbox. Okay. So, uh, the first thing you have to do is to change the path. Okay. So, I just type CD, Ctrl V and change the path. Okay. Once you change the path, uh, to open a new file, like I just type edit to open the editor window. Okay, so I'm going to read the image. So imread is a command. I'm going to read the image from the MATLAB root directory. Okay, so cameraman.tiff is the image which was stored in the MATLAB root directory. Uh, if you don't, if you want to read your own images, then you have to place those images on the current working folder. Okay, so. Uh, mwrite is a command which can store the image locally. Okay, so test.bmb. So I just store the image uh, locally here, test.bmb. So if, if I click this image, so you will have the camera method. Okay, so I just copy these two codes. So uh, image will be represented in terms of matrix on the workspace. You could see A. So which has size, the matrix has size of 256 rows and 256 columns and these elements are called pixels. Okay. So this pixel value will be between 0 to 255 for a grayscale image. If it is a color, you will be having uh, 3 pixel values for red, green and blue. So totally 24 bits. Okay. For DICOM images, uh, the pixel value is 16 bits. Okay. So for grayscale, for binary, the pixel value is 0 or 1 bit. Uh, it's, the representation will be in 1 bit. Whereas for grayscale it is 8 bit and whereas for uh, the uh, color it is 24 bit for red 8 bit for green 8 bit and for blue 8 bit okay so uh, if if you want to read the color image like I have a color image on the folder I just read this color image rose.png uh, png stands for portable network graphics okay tiff stands for tagged image file format so if you check b b is the color image where this is the matrix size 427 into 527 into uh, 3 okay 3 means like 3 stands for the planes for red plane green plane and blue plane whereas for grayscale image there is no planes so there is only single plane so 256 into 256 okay so if you want to display this image so i just copy this to code CLC for clear screen, clear for variable clear. I just read this cameraman.tiff and if I want to display this image, I just type in show of okay. I'm going to save this program as example one. Okay. So when I hit the run button, I could see the image on this window. Okay. So if if I want to read the other image, M rate of rose dot png okay and if i want to display this and hit the run button okay if you want to display on a single axis single figure okay so this is the window so you could use subplot subplot of one comma two comma one this is for one rows and two columns and this is the first image okay so if you if you want to display for second like you have to mention this is the second index so once you hit the run, run button like you could see uh, two images on a single figure okay so this is using subplot if you want to resize this image to the same size same size of this image you could use the command called im resize c equal to im resize I am resize of B comma two to six two to six two to six rows and two to six columns. Okay. We are going to just resize this image size to the same size of the grayscale image. Okay, and hit the run button. So if you check now, uh, you will get the resized image. Okay. So this is the resized image. So both the size, if you check C like on the workspace. You have two to six into two to six into three. 
Okay, whereas the original size is 427 into 527 into 3. So this is the resized image. Okay, for resized, you could use this syntax. I am resized of B comma 256 comma 256. Okay. If you want to convert that to a gray scale, then you just type RGB to gray of C. Okay. So this converts that to gray scale. So I'm going to use now three plots here. And hit the run button okay we check now okay. so this is the grayscale image we have the input grayscale image color image color converted to grayscale image we want to convert that to a binary i am to bw okay i am to bw of b so that converts that to a binary so i'm going to use two rows and two columns, two rows and two columns. Okay. So this is the first image, second image, third and fourth image. Okay. Check now. So this should be E. Okay. So this is the binary image. Okay. This is the input image color image, grayscale, uh, grayscale image, and this is the binary image. If you want to see the pixel value, you could type I am pixel in 4 and hit the run button. Okay. So this displays, you could, when you put the cursor on the bottom, like you could see the location X comma Y as well as the pixel value. Okay. See, uh, for color, you are, you are getting three values, R, G, and B. And for binary, it is zeros and ones. Okay. If you see at the corner button here, like it's 0 and 1. And for this, it is grayscale. Okay. So, uh, I just repeat. So, we have read in grayscale image. Subplot is used to plot more than one figure on a, one more than one image, uh, to display more than one image on the same figure. Okay. So, we are reading the second image, resize this image, convert that to a grayscale image. This is this command is for converting that to a binary and this is for display okay i am pixel info in pixel info is for showing the pixel values when you put the cursor on the image it will display the pixel at the particular location okay. so if you want to read the dicom image so just type help dicom read okay we'll get a sample code here copy the sample code i just save this on a separate program Example 2, okay, CLC and clear, I'll clear the previous values. So I just keep a breakpoint and stop the program. Okay. So just type info that will display the information about the image, like the file name, where it is located, the file modified date, okay, it is located in the toolbox, the image is located in the toolbox, the file modified date is 2000, file size, format is DICOM. Uh, width and height of the image, fit, depth, okay, and everything, everything, what kind of manufacturer, so everything it will display, okay, so you have to use square matrix because it's a double format, since it is, since the image is 16 bit, like you have to use this square bracket to display the image, okay. so this is the image. This is how to read the DICOM image, the DCM format. Okay. If you want to read the DICOM image, use DICOM info first to get the information about the file and then use DICOM read. Okay. DICOM read to read the image and info is the command which is used for display. Okay. So in this example, we have seen uh, how to read images, read the uh, grayscale image. You could use any type of formats like BAP format or JPG format or TIFF format, any format it will work. Uh, MATLAB supports a lot of formats. Okay. Uh, GIF format, PNG, portable network graphics, portable gray map. You read, you could read any formats. You read, and we have covered up how to resist these images and how to convert that to a grayscale image RGB to gray, and how to convert that to a binary image, and uh, how to read DICOM images. Okay. So in this tutorial, we have covered up how to read an image and how to store image 
and how to resize image, how to convert to different file formats, different image formats, and how to read the Tycom images. Okay. The next tutorial will be covering up how to do mathematical operations in the image. So thank you so much for your time. If you have not subscribed to this uh, channel, please subscribe to the channel. We also have MATLAB course uh, where we cover up basics of MATLAB, basics of image processing, deep learning, machine learning, and a uh, lot of stuff like nearly 10 plus projects. You could see the uh, detailed curriculum on the link, which is in the description box. If you you could uh, you could send me you could uh, click the link and you could visit the uh, page for more details, or you could send a WhatsApp message to the number which is given in the description box. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, bye bye. Take care.